Hey, welcome to Game Informer, everybody. I'm Ben Reeves. I'm joined by JV Gwaltney. Hiya. And we got two interns here. The Hello. lovable Nathan. How do you say your last name? Anset. Yeah, and Jay. And my last name is Guisa. Perfect. I can't be bothered to learn their last names. <laughs> uh, but we're here to talk about Borderlands 3. It was just announced. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? It's a third Borderlands it is. That is a correct statement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. Do you guys agree? Yeah, I mean, it looks like more Borderlands. Yeah. So if you like Borderlands one and two, guess what? They took. It seems like they've taken a yeah. if it's not broken, don't fix it sort of approach to it. Which I don't know. I think I'll enjoy it yeah. as someone who wasn't hot on the first Borderlands, but really enjoyed the second one. I think I'll like it. Same. From yeah. what I saw, really, you I guys was, in the I same the boat. Opposite. I was the opposite. You liked one, not two. Yeah, I, I think two made a lot of smart improvements. But mm-hmm. I liked one a lot more, I think. Sure. And Jay, you want to show everybody your Borderlands tattoo? No, right. Yeah, it's on my back. I got to take off my Lens and Barley shirt. <laughs> but um, I really loved two. Kind of missed out on one, but two was kind of like that break from shooters that I got to like actually like delve into like a like a story with my friends sure. and still like get the shooter aspects to it. So I really I really loved two, but I wasn't a huge fan of one. Right. Also, Tales from the Borderlands is great. <laughs> well, what did you think, uh, JV? I know you're a huge Tales fan, yeah. and there's some like characters it looks like in this. Yeah, Reese, who's the main uh, character, one of the two protagonists from Tales from the Borderlands. He's the guy with the robot arm uh, mm-hmm. is in this one. And then... The teaser trailer that they showcased yesterday, it show it showed his buddy Vaughn, the nerdy sort of accountant. Who's dude. really buff. Yeah, who's really buff. That <laughs> becomes like a joke. It's just how swole he is. Um, is uh, also in the game, but no sign of like Fiona or like that one loader bot or anybody else. So mm-hmm. who knows if they'll be in the game. But I was really excited to see him back. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I like the loader bot. It'd be fun to see. Yeah, the loader bot. It would be great to see that particular loader bot yeah, again. Specifically <laughs> that one. Yes. Yeah, cool. Well, uh, overall impressions from the game, like, seems like, looks like Borderlands 3, mm-hmm. which is a surprise, uh, but I think I'm on board. Uh, I like the yeah. original Borderlands games, and I like the art style, I think, is different yep. enough, and doesn't seem like a lot of games do that kind of, like, ca- cartoony comic book uh, yeah. art style, so it's fun to return to that world. Totally. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to just get a bunch of new characters in that same world, like, maybe some new abilities. They showed that, like, mech that you could potentially r- yeah, yeah, yeah. ride the, around in? Yeah, their diva is what it looked like. Yeah, the yeah. diva is in the game. <laughs> yeah, diva is literally in uh, yeah. Borderlands 3. But yeah, all the vault hunters, the new vault hunters look good. Yeah, definitely. Especially like the Batman kind of guy with the gadgets. Like the... Uh, is that the guy that oh. had his, his like he can, echo image? Yeah, he can like create a projection thing? of himself like Mirage's ability from mm-hmm. Apex from is Apex. Lo- like yeah. ex- exactly what it looked like. But yeah. I'm excited to play with those characters because I think that was the... My favorite thing about Borderlands 2 when I played it was like, oh, like the RPG aspect, the RPG light aspects of that series are really strong. And then like every playthrough that you do with a different character feels different to an extent Mm -hmm. because it's like, oh, I have these new tactical powers I can play around with. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see how the the new powers pan out along with the new settings uh, because it seemed like the big... Uh, you know, standout thing was like, oh, we're not just on Pandora and it's moon anymore. We're going right, to a yeah. bunch of planets, including yeah. like one futuristic Blade Runner looking city. Yeah, yeah. That that super cool. cool. Yeah, that cool. I liked like the lush like swamplands looking maps too, because I feel like Borderlands has kind of always been like that kind of beige wasteland kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. even like yeah. there are other areas that weren't beige desert, like their frozen wasteland right, still felt right. like a desert. <laughs> like a, it was yeah. just a blue desert. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. so it, it, it'd be good to see them vary that up yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. I did see one forest swampland planet yeah. that looked kind of like Dagobah or something. That was kind of cool looking. Yeah, and you mentioned like the cool. giant city, which I was like kind of surprised to see because we don't normally see big cities in Borderlands. It'd be mm-hmm. fun to see like their interpretation of what a mass. Yeah, because it's usually like junker towns, right? Yeah, yeah. small kind of like uh, mm-hmm. outposts, kind of like cities, right. yeah, that you might see in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm curious how you'll navigate those areas because traditionally you're running around big open areas and you have mm-hmm. cars that you can go off ramps and things mm-hmm. like that. So if there are big skyscrapers, if it's a totally different... Uh, yeah, if it's like more around. linear, like mm-hmm. if it's more yeah. like constrictive, which I think would be a good thing though, because if you have all these open spaces, um, you know, one of the, my favorite things about Titanfall 2 to talk about another uh, shooter was that it would do that. It would do big, huge spaces to play in. And then, oh, it's literally a giant corridor that we're running through. Mm-hmm. And like that created sort of like this constant um, tempo. 
you know, change yeah. that okay. I really enjoyed. So I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, with those cities that that's a case of that, that it's like, oh, we're fighting in a smaller space now, but that requires us mm. to think differently as a group, like using our powers differently because we can't just like run around in a massive space and just cause mm. havoc, which is what you could just do in Borderlands and Borderlands 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of mentioned it, but I'd like to see like players' uh, powers play off each other a little bit more. So, like, you do one power, it sets you up to do this other thing. Right. Oh, you mean like combos? And yeah, stuff? Co combo oh, powers together, kind of Overwatch style. Like, yeah. you know, all these characters have powers. How can they be used in conjunction with each other? Like, mm -hmm. to Borderlands has always been fairly co-op friendly, and right. I know there are other co-op shooters out there even before Borderlands. But for me, Borderlands always felt like. That's the game that you play with a bunch of friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like yeah. they really embrace that. So mm -hmm. to to add that layer to it, I think would be kind of fun. Yeah, because like all those abilities, as cool as they were in one or two, they're very like individual tailored because I feel like Definitely. maybe Gearbox was concerned about, well, if a person doesn't have like a huge group to play with, you don't want to give them powers that mm -hmm. depend on other powers. So, you know, I feel like there's a balance that they have to strike with giving like, okay, all of these characters have powers that can get them through the game. But, um, you know, it'd be nice, like, like you said, it'd be good to have like secondary powers or at least powers that also activate combos. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you can make one character can make the, their, uh, squad mates, robot pet invincible or something sure. right. for a brief okay. period of time. <clears throat> yeah. 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 It'd be good. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I played both of those first two games entirely single player. Mm. Um, but it would be really cool. I mean, in the trailer they show. So I don't know her name. We'll call her Diva. Okay. <laughs> uh, has her mech, um, or at least when they sh they flash by all of the characters, they kind of give a preview of what their abilities might be. And she has that mech in the background. But then later they show the the guy, his, the Batman guy, yeah, mm -hmm. riding on the mech, shooting from a turret while she's presumably driving it. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't know if the other characters would have anything analogous to that, but. Yeah, no, it's... That might speak to what you're... Yeah, yeah, that, that's just what I really hope to see is like like Ben made the Overwatch comparison and that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Like, is like characters that really like bounce off of each other in cool ways. Like yeah. every character should have like a combo, I feel like, where they can rely on if like things get dicey in the firefight. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. Be like Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect, yeah. 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 That's what we were all talking about. Very relevant. Yeah. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, I was just going to talk about the guns some more. I don't know if you guys have thoughts. The about bazillion guns. guns. There's a bazillion yeah. guns. Now. So you want to start one of the them beginning? had legs. <laughs> yeah, start over. We'll, Let's start no, no over. just we'll go down each gun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Did you did you see that one, Ben? The one that had legs. So, uh, that's what, what I. Cool. That's what I liked. Is like more, I want more wacky stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah. if that's a real gun, which I presume it is. Mm -hmm. Like what other like crazy things could they even do with guns at this point? Uh, right. I, they That's had true. ones that talked, I think, in two. Yeah, there was like, one that screamed that had yeah. like infinite ammo and was super. It was the most powerful gun in yeah. the game. But, but it was super annoying. You don't want to use it. Yeah, mm. but you know, just put the game on mute. Yeah, there you go. I I guess, yeah. <laughs> it would just scream. Yeah, <laughs> right. it would just literally scream. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't do. know if you guys had this problem in two. I mm. found a gun that I liked, and then I felt like I was, I don't know, stuck. Not stuck with it, but like I didn't find a gun I liked more for like ten hours. Mm -hmm. So I was just constantly using the same gun and it just feels kind of antithetical to the whole loot system yeah. of like you're constantly finding yeah. stuff you like better. Yeah. So maybe they can fine tune that a little bit more for for three, I would hope so. Mm -hmm. But stuff like that, like walking guns or guns that just do weird offshoot one-off things that you would not find anywhere else, like that could be a way to kind of encourage you to like cycle through your weapons a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah. 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 I at the At the opposite end of that though, I've played of like, I feel Anthem is really bad about this in the division mm -hmm. recently where it's like you get a gun and you really like it for 30 minutes and then suddenly you level up and your enemies level up and then that gun is useless. Yeah. yeah. But you and still then you like get, the gun. Yeah, yeah. But then you get stuck with like another one, like a shotgun that you just don't love, but you have to use it because mm -hmm. your previous gun doesn't do that much damage. Sure. That's what I'm worried about more than like, oh, I'm really attached to this gun and nothing else is a, is appeasing mm -hmm. yeah. because at least like in that, in that instance, at least you have a gun that you, you know, you don't mind at worst and that you like, mm -hmm. uh, I just don't want to fall into the other side. Yeah. So it's a balancing act. Well, I wonder if they would Definitely. do like a destiny style setup where you can feed guns into other guns mm -hmm. to power them up. So if you end up yep. with something you really like halfway through the game, cool. that would be really cool. Just totally recycle constantly right. to mm -hmm. give it power. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be cool. Anything else you guys are hoping to see or anything else you guys caught out of that that 
trailer that we might have missed the villains look like they just straight up walked out of final, final fantasy. fantasy yeah it's like they look <laughs> it's just wild it's like is that kefka what is this <laughs> um you know it's i think that's going to be pretty big that's that's going to be pretty big shoes for them to fill because i agree people really liked handsome jack yeah uh, as and a they villain. said he wasn't returning. Yeah, he, they said he was dead, like dead, he made a dead. Big mm. point about that. Yeah, Randy was like, "Nope, he's dead." <laughs> and is this a hey, Joker's dead? He's not coming back, kind of. That's thing. true because <laughs> like they Arkham? did try to really, do that, or is this something else? I really hope not. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of, as much as like everybody loved Jack, he didn't totally hundred percent do it for me. Oh, but I recognize yeah. that he's like everybody loved him, and mm. so he, they do have big shoes to fill like yeah. definitely i i do think that like it'd be stupid to bring him back because at least for someone who loves tales as much as i do like one of the big story beats in there is like sending jack off in mm. a really cool way that's that's like one of the big moments of that game so it'd be kind of shitty to like you know just you'd lose the power of that moment in that game right by mm. bringing him back right. so, so i kind of hope he's dead new villains look arrogant i guess so i don't know yeah, yeah. like you didn't it could be bad yeah like the thing that we didn't we didn't i don't think we got any uh of their personality mm -hmm. from the trailer like all we saw was them walking in one clip and then in another clip of Lilith, they beat the crap out of lilith you know who's yeah. supposed yeah, to be like right. one of the most powerful characters in that universe right, right so that's interesting but you know i guess we have to see their personality come out first before you make a judgment call mm -hmm. on whether seems, go ahead sorry uh, it seems like they're in charge of some cult of like vault everywhere in the trailer there were signposts for the cult of the vault or yeah something, yeah. something mm. like that and he was the father mm. and and then it would be like come like ask Cal calypso i think was her name mm. and then mm. and then honor honor the father which was him i really just hope this isn't far cry five yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know i just don't feel like they were very like animated like in in their actions and what like i mean like you said we only got them walking so yeah. it's like i don't know i just felt like uh like handsome jack was like this like you can kind of like when you looked at him you can kind of tell like he was like this arrogant smug jerk you know and like oh he looks like the type of guy who's gonna say a joke while shooting sure, at you you yeah. know yeah. but like these new characters they kind of just like aesthetically they look cool i guess like they're like punk grunge rockers kind of yeah but that's all that's all we're really I, getting from yeah that. i feel like jack had like the patrick bateman thing going on yeah which no like yeah. like usually when uh video games do like maniacal madmen mm -hmm. they all sort of fall into that joker kind of territory right, but right. jack was like a very specific kind of entertaining sociopath exactly right? yeah you know yeah. and i don't I don't know if like grungy punk rock cult leader is gonna is gonna it's gonna fill that yeah that gap yeah. Well, I hope they don't just try to like fit into that handsome Jack uh, also that, archetype yeah. and mm -hmm. just like well they're they're a different person but also they're still that smug arrogant mm -hmm. yeah you know hmm. guy or girl um, so yeah but there's two of them which is kind of cool that yeah. is we'll cool. see how they play yeah. off each other yeah mm -hmm. yeah cool any other final thoughts you guys excited to play this game I'm very excited I know. Um, because they're bringing back some other characters that I wasn't a fan. I know Handsome Jack, obviously, we said won't probably be coming back. I don't know how you guys felt about Tiny Tina in two. Yeah, it's just fine. fine. Like, yeah, I wow. really don't like Tiny Tina. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I was the voice, or is it's it... all of it. Okay, and so I'm curious because now they showed her in the trailer and she's grown An up some. Yeah, yeah. Mm. so I'm really curious to see what she's like. Mm. She's matured. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm claptrap. He's back. He's also matured. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see uh, how many years have passed because if Tina's like an adult now, that's a good four or five years at least. Yeah, I feel like so to see how everyone has changed in that landscape during yeah. that time would be cool. Yeah. I guess because it's weird because I don't like to think of Borderlands as like a story driven experience, right? But over those games, I've become attached to some of those characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even like uh, two did a great job. I felt like it doesn't get called out enough on this of like making the original Vault Hunters like actual characters. Yeah, and imbuing actually. them with personalities yeah. like Mordecai and his bird. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that was some heart wrenching stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'd be interested if they're going to do that with Two's Vault Hunters. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, That'd be I cool. Don't, yeah. I don't remember Two's Vault Hunters. I don't, I don't feel either. like I have. As clear a, a memory of them as I do. Yeah, the first. they didn't have a lot of personality. It wasn't about them. 
Like that was, yeah, was a weird the thing. One. It was just like the second one was about the first crew and you guys were just kind of avatars just viewing that. Like that's what it felt like at least. Yeah, like I, I'm trying to think. I know there was a commando guy who could like summon turrets. Right. There was like Wasn't a- Wasn't that in one? No, no, this is a different guy. It's it's yeah. like the same it's not class. Roland? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like Salvador or something. Yeah, Salvador. He's like had a Kimbo like mini guns or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. But yeah, I mean, they're basically avatars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that'd be cool to see this game do that to them, give them that treatment. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. I'm also excited to see what they do just like gameplay-wise because since those games came out, it feels like Destiny's taken off and there's been like a hundred different like loot shooter type games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a lot of them have gone that sort of like MMO light uh, type category with persistent worlds and stuff. And mm -hmm. so it'd be interesting if everybody kind of kept saying like, this is what, Gearbox needs to do with the next Borderlands, so yeah. I'm interested if they go in that direction or if they go in a different direction, mm -hmm. uh, just like gameplay wise. What, how are they going to update the game? Right, I, I feel like it might come down to just the like the locales that you can go to because, like for me personally, like seeing Borderlands Three, I was a little upset that I was seeing more of the same. Um, just like I mean, I get there's like not much aesthetically you can do to like change the game. Like the cell shading is very like particular when it comes to like their series and whatnot. But um, I just feel like like a big update like or like a big feature will be like those locations and how like players can really get immersed um, in that kind of world. And maybe that'll be at least for me that it'll feel new enough rather than just like here I am playing like Borderlands 2.5 or something, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah. Which that already came out. Yeah. yeah also that, already came also out. that. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess like, I guess like Borderlands, we'll call it two and a half instead of 2.8. 2.8. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. So yeah. just do the kingdom hearts. 2. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Five. yeah. yeah. Five. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. 365 yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to check it out. Yeah. I'm excited to learn more about it too. Yeah, yeah seems like we'll have stuff coming out in the next couple. Yeah, weeks. Yeah, because they teased it on Twitter. They were like, "Oh, on April third, right. check in. We're gonna show yeah. more. So maybe we'll get a release date yeah. and stuff." Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, I, presumably they've been working on this for already like what did they say? Four. And he half said years? Five, five, years. five years. Five years. Yeah. So like, mm -hmm. they're probably pretty close to done. Like this yeah. is probably it, it's probably year. like bug fixing yeah. and like just adjusting things territory. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's an assumption. That's not based on anything other than like, oh, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, and I think Borderlands 1 comes out remastered that same day. Yeah. And yeah, right. yeah, April 3rd right. it comes 3rd. out. Yeah. And and an HD texture pack for like Borderlands <laughs> right. 2 and the pre-sequel right. to make it look good in 4K. Yeah, I guess we didn't even talk about that there, but there was that other Borderlands new uh news about just like the the first games getting remade and then the other two are getting yeah. HD ified. Mm. Yep. That, that sweet card game. And there's a sweet card game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Randy's okay. magic trick. Oh, yeah. Do you guys, I got, why don't you pick a card here? Uh, number 47. You 47. count them out for me. Do you want to, like, <laughs> three, four, five, six? Is that your card? Yeah. It's signed yeah. by you. And is this your card? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What, what is going They're on? They're all the same card. <laughs> I am, That's the I am magic literally trick. done. Yeah. Uh, are you seeing that? <laughs> all right. Well, all right. thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our <laughs> Borderlands 3 coverage. That's what I have to work with. <laughs> So Stay tuned for more in the coming weeks, and uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.